Okay, now we can parallel park the desk. All right? Okay. Super easy. You know this always makes me nervous. Don't be nervous. This right. is easy. Ready? Okay, you always yell at me. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Swivel the desk. Swivel the desk. Mm -hmm. Swivel. Swivel. No, swivel. Swivel. I mean, swivel. This is what swiveling is. Swivel. Okay. No, it's too much. Back. All right. All right. Well, yeah, it's. It's a very tight. Code. You gotta be deliberate. Don't be afraid. Okay. All right? Yes. Now, swivel. Swivel. No, that's too much. Swivel. No more swivel. Oh, I got swivel sickness. Swivel. <laughs> swivel. I'm swiveling. Swivel. 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 You're not swiveling right. I am swiveling right. No, you're swiveling left. I'm swiveling right. To your left, my right. What? Swivel! All right, swivel! Swivel!
Welcome, Welcome to, to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. As you can see, we're in the car. Yeah, not in my basement where we're supposed to be at this moment because one of us had the brilliant idea to leave the studio and run out for tacos. Which I offered to buy, so you offered to drive, but then your car broke down. Did you not see that your check engine light was on? How was I supposed to know what that meant? It means to check your engine. Well, I know that now. So. We are stuck in the car and have no idea when we'll see a tow truck. So we've decided to do the show right here. We're just going to make it up as we go along, right? Our best kind of show. Yeah, yeah, our <laughs> best kind of show. We love to <laughs> make things uh, up. up, up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. when we... Yeah, when we empathize. Empathize, yeah. Empathize. No, no uh, we could play the license plate game. You know, the, the game where you, you try to find license plates from as many different places as possible? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great idea, idea, great idea. So we, we wait for a car to drive by. Oh, I think, oh, 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 oh I think here's come right in. Oh, no, no, Michigan, I think. No, uh, no, no, I think it, no, I think it said Hawaii. You sure? No, wait, Hawaii is an island. Well, maybe they shipped it over in a crate? ship a car over in, from Hawaii. <sighs> this game doesn't really work when you're not driving. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wish we had a guest or something. <laughs> I know. Someone who knows stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Ah! Leonard! That's Leonard. Leonard! Don't wear it out! <laughs> ah. I'm Leonard Fortescue and I am a professional metal detectorist. Oh, hang on. I use Camilla here to find fame and fortune. What are you doing? Same as you, I'm sitting in the car. Yeah, but why are you in the back seat? I already told you! I'm gonna play a game! It's called Backseat Booyah! The game's pretty easy to understand. Camilla here is gonna help me find treasure in your back seat. And when I find something, you have to try and guess what it is. I'm gonna give you three yes or no questions. Yeah, wait, wait, you're gonna dig for treasure in my back seat? Yeah, that's exactly right. Have you played this before? No. Oh, <laughs> all right then, let's do this. Y'all face the front, all right. no peeking. All right. What are you gonna do? I just want to make sure she's calibrated. Okay. Oh, oh, where am I getting a signal? Hang on, hang on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hang on. Yeah. I got something. Okay. All right, you got three questions. You ready? Yeah. First one. Got one. Yeah, does it fit in your hand? Actually, it does. Uh, can you eat it? I guess you could, but I, I would not. So it's probably some kind of moldy food or something. Uh, is it a cookie? Ah, hey, you know what? That's close enough. Look at that. It's an old Teddy Graham. <laughs> wow. I found a Teddy Graham with a metal detector. All right, round two. All right, go to work, Camilla. Need help? No, I got it. I got it. Whoa, what is that? You gotta ever see one of these again. Any guesses? Uh, uh, is it money? Uh, no, but I would say it is worth a pretty penny. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, wow. Uh, is it a, uh, like a vintage action figure? Nope. Uh, uh, is it a really old stamp? Nope. Oh, is it, is it ah, a... Ah, that's your three guesses. Oh. It's an official Leonard Fortescue trading card, back from my lacrosse days. <laughs> look at that, look how fit I was. I can run almost seven yards. I, uh, Leonard, I don't recall ever having one of those. Maybe it fell out of my pocket. You know, I like to keep some just in case some of my fans show up. I'll just put it back in my pocket. Okay, let's uh, move on to round three. Oh, we're, oh, yeah, we're going, doesn't that? Three rounds. More stuff. Let's see, let's, let's move on back here. Let's see what we can do. Look at right there. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Okay, you got three questions. Is it more food? Uh, definitely not. Uh, will it fit in my wallet? I have not seen your wallet, but I would uh, care to guess, no. I don't know, is it a TV? 
A TV? I'm just assuming it's gonna be something strange. <laughs> ding, 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 ding! It is definitely something strange. I found a trombone! <laughs> A, uh, a trombone? Yeah, right. Yeah, I totally forgot. When my car horn quit working, I used trombone instead. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know it's ridiculous Why because by the time that? I would pull the trombone out to play it, the car would have already driven by you and I. You wreck your car when well, you're doing No, that. no, the trombone goes out the window. I, I, no. Well, as my Uncle Bobo used to say, when a possum gets mad, you need to quit pulling his tail. So I think it's time for me to skedaddle. Say goodbye, Camilla. Wait, wait. What about a possum? How does he do that? No more questions! It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Mm, still no tow truck? Nope. nope. Well, I got a story about how people should treat each other. Do you think you might want to hear it? I think so, Kellen, yeah, take it away. All right. Well, today we're looking at some verses from the book of Matthew. Matthew was one of Jesus' 12 disciples, and he wrote down something Jesus said during a famous sermon that we now call the Sermon on the Mount. Here's what Jesus taught. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor, hate your enemy. But here's what I tell you. Love your enemies, pray for those who hurt you. So Jesus said to love your neighbor. That's the easy part. Your neighbors are often the people around you who love and care about you. Those kind of people should be easy to love. The hard part is what Jesus said next. Love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. Not as easy, is it? Well, let's see how easy it is for our friends Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. One day, Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter were out for a bicycle ride. We are going way too slow, Mr. Freighter. I have a need, a need for going faster. I beg your pardon, Count, but I thought we were out for a nice casual ride today. No, I will not pedal casual. I am not the casual Count. I am the Count of Lupe, which means I go fast. <laughs> ha ha, I ring my bell at you. Get out of my way, slow pork. I don't think you should ring your bell so angrily, Count. That person may have a reason to ride that slow. Nonsense! They are slow riding on purpose, simply to make me angry. If you will not move, then you are now my enemy and will get more bicycle bell. Please, Count. Move! You should watch the road or we might... Then I shall go around him. <laughs> I don't think that's such a good... Oh! Idea. Oh dear. Tandem bicycle. Oh no! It looks like the Count not only fell off the bike, but he fell into the trap that so many of us do. He treated someone he did not like terribly. He got angry, he lost his patience, and he didn't listen to those around him. And unfortunately, he paid the price. This is the second part of what Jesus said. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Even the tax collectors do that. If you greet only your own people, what more are you doing than others? Even people who are ungodly do that. So Jesus was saying that everyone loves the people who love them, even people who don't follow Jesus. But if you do follow Jesus, you should love not just the people who love you, but also the people who don't love you. Okay, why don't we give the Count one more try? Here they are on just a normal school day. I am going to completely ace the math test today and show that Tammy Tomato who is the best in class. Yep, we've studied hard and Tammy Tomato won't be able to make fun of me for making a B minus minus again. Yeah, <laughs> we will crush and dice her. Excuse me, Count Lupe, Mr. Fritter, is that someone talking to me, Mr. Fritter, or just vine growing? <laughs> Hello, Tammy. Is there something you need? Well, I know we don't always get along, and I made fun of your B minus minus, but I accidentally left my math notes at home, and I was wondering if I could borrow your notes so that I could do some last minute studying. I'm really worried about this test. You? Borrow our notes? 
Ho ho ho! Don't make me laugh like I just did. Like you would ever let us borrow yours. Now be gone. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Count. I'm going to eat in. I'm going to eat. Ooh, be careful, Count. Ho <laughs> ho! I'm going to eat in. <laughs> Not again. Here you go, Tammy. You can borrow my notes. And good luck on the test. Thank you. Do not do it, Mr. Fritter. Do not fraternize with the enemy. Oh, my. Medic. I think I may have gotten the point. Ooh, hopefully the count really has gotten the point this time. But I'm not so sure. But I am glad Matthew recorded what Jesus had to say and the challenge that he gave us. Loving and showing respect to people we like isn't enough. That should be a given. As Jesus followers, we should try to do more than that. We should love and respect people even when we don't get along. That's how Jesus loved people after all. And that's what he expects from us. Wow. Thanks, Kellen. That was great. Yeah, uh, we really needed that reminder. I think we were starting to get a little irritated with one another. <laughs> no problem. And I hope your tow truck comes soon. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, bye. I'm sorry if I was impatient with you, friend. I've just been frustrated with the whole car situation. So. Oh, same. Getting along with someone gets a little harder when you're in an enclosed space with them for several hours. So uh, I'm sorry, too. Friends. <laughs> Friends. You probably don't yeah, yeah. need the seat belts no, while we're no, still. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Reveal the question. Oh, yeah. When is it hard to get along with someone? I think we just prove that it can be difficult to get along with someone when you're frustrated about anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's easy to take your frustration out on other people. It might be hard to get along with someone if they're different from you, mm -hmm. uh, if they like different things or act different ways. Or like different kinds of music. Oh! oh. You know, Camilla is more of a country girl, but I'm a little bit jazz, techno, fusion kind of guy. But we make it work. Well. Uh, I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon, but the, the, that's the end of the show. Yeah, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And I'm going to go take a nap. All right. Hey, could you... Uh, yeah. yeah thank that's the so-and-so show. <laughs> Can you play techno jazz fusion? <laughs> That's my jam! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could get there to <laughs> <laughs>